Hey guys, I'm in the Gifford Pinchot looking for Bigfoot. Got a pretty river down there. And um, today I'm going to be showing you a lot of different ways that you can try to attract the Bigfoot. So here we go, let's do this. You really need to think like a Bigfoot if you're gonna ever find Bigfoot. Um, I know for sure that there is a Bigfoot near Johnstown, Pennsylvania, because I saw one uh, when I was like 12 years old. And since I moved to the Northwest area, I've been looking because people keep telling me that Bigfoot is somewhere in the Gifford Pinchot. Washington State um, have not seen him yet, so I have a few things I'm going to be trying. Here is some Sasquatch surprise potato chips, and I think this will draw in any Bigfoot within a 10 mile radius. Um, it's extra thick and crunchy and gluten free. These are all things that Bigfoot represents. Um, he endorses this potato chip, obviously, since it has his name all over it. So yeah, let's give this a try. Um. We're not quite sure what Bigfoot sounds like. So it's good to just do as many noises as you can. He might pick up on one or two of them and then come running. So it's good to just try as many noises as you can when you're looking for the Bigfoot. Another thing that I've noticed in my research about Bigfoot is that he seems to be a little shy and the best way to get anyone out of their shell is to drink uh, alcohol. So I was gonna do a little offering along my trails, maybe dab a little beer on myself so he gets the scent and eventually he's gonna come around. He probably licks rocks. I mean who doesn't? So we're just gonna go spill beer on as many rocks as we can. So we could just, and then, you know, just like a little on, on you. I think that's enough for now. I'm going to drink the rest because I also need to come out of my shell. Well, we didn't find Bigfoot, but... The search will continue.